one of the landmarks found in Manila, the Pandit Capital. It has been standing for 69 years since it was inaugurated on August 1941 by Honorable Eugenio Rodriguez. Let's explore the history behind this work of architecture. The Manila City Hall was destroyed by an earthquake on June 3, 1863. A second building was constructed on May 2, 1979, and it was called the Marble Hall. But unfortunately, flood hit Manila that leads to another destruction of the City Hall. The fight for the construction of a new and permanent city hall building started on 1914. Commonwealth Act No. 149 stated that the budget for the construction of the city hall is 1,100,000 pesos. Mayor Juan Posada signed a contract with Metropolitan Engineering and Construction Corporation and was headed by Mr. Fernando Ocampo. Finally, on January 4, 1940, the employees of the old city hall occupied the new city hall, and Eulogio Rodriguez appointed the mayor of Manila. During the World War II, the new city hall was partially destroyed and was rebuilt last 1946 during the American regime under Philippine Rehabilitation Act of 1946. Mayor Antonio Villegas administered the sanitation and beautification of the building. To define the identity of Manila as a Filipino city that Bruno Villegas proclaimed in Executive Order 395 of 1965, Mahar as the official name of Manila City Hall. The word is taken from the words Maharlika and Willad. Nilat is the name of the water plant from which Manila took its name. Maharlika originally means free man in pre-Spanish British society and over the years took on the connotation of dignity, nobility, and responsibility. Mohar Nilat then combined the meaning of the native place and the theme of freedom and nobility that informs it. Manila City Hall, or Mahar Nilad, is shaped like a coffin from the aerial view. According to the research, it is shaped like that for the commemoration of the souls of the people who died in war. Thank mm -hmm. you.